now we're into the leg of the journey. And this is where things get to be a lot of fun. All right, you got your corset, getting ready to put that girl on so that you can start your tight lacing or waist training journey. I have to say, tight lacing will come first. It is rare to just jump start into your waist training journey. I'm not saying that there aren't those that did it. It wasn't my journey. I can honestly say that my journey started with just corset wearing, then I discovered tight lacing, and then I decided I wanted to go to a certain physical aesthetic. And that is what waist training is all about. So we're going to just talk on the bones of tight lacing. You're not going to jump into that girl and just suddenly decide to wear all day. It's just like going to the prom. Have all these little chickies buy these high heel shoes. They've only worn sneakers and what flip flops all their lives. But they're going to buy these pumps. All right. Buy those pumps. Put it in the pl closet until it's time for prom. And then pull it out for prom night. And think that they're going to wear these things for the next two to four hours. Trust me. They suffer. And they deserve to. Because your body needs to be introduced, all right? Just like your body likes consistency. They don't like just be thrown in the shit either. You need to introduce your body to it. Not up here. Now it has to start fitting in here, all right? So this is what's going to happen. You're going to get into your corset. And you're going to wear that bad girl for one to two hours. You're not going to eat in it, okay? Do your housework in it. Do your homework in it. I eh, wouldn't have any sexual relations just yet. But I do have a video on sexual relations in a corset coming out soon. But going back to business, yes, one to two hours for, we'll say three to five days. You feel okay and you will be feeling some things because you're going to feel chafe because this gets a lot of heat. It's a lot of pressure. It's just like wearing a cast, okay? You're also going to find that just because the corset fits you through here, it may fit you in here, once it goes into practice, once it goes to work, you may find that that corset needs to be brought up a little bit. It may need to be brought down. You're going to find that Everybody is not the same. There are times where corset may have to sit a little cockeyed. And I've had a couple of those corsets that look a little that uh, And yes, I have back problems. So yes, I'm not always straight when I put my corset on. But again, that is part of the corset. If you're wearing it for medical, that's a whole different issue. Will be addressed. But right now, let's get to work. And one to two hours starting now. Any questions? Any comments? Any issues? Please let me know about them because we want this to be a pleasant journey and we want your corset to be a lifelong companion. So this is the Corset Disciplinarian. Keep it tight. <laughs>